Today, we will be testing the Quad RS indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Quad RS indicator. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 51 different strategies, with 13 of them being profitable, We've also tested a total of 578 indicators, with 239 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test all these strategies and indicators on the Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. All right, so today's indicator is the Quad RS. Uh, we tested this one yesterday. Uh, if you caught that video, then you have an idea of, um, you know, what this indicator looks like. So for those of you who might not have caught it, what we have is an indicator with actually four lines like this. And so what I did was I went in and I uh, turned off the two largest lines, the 502 and the 858, leaving just these two. And then I bumped up the line weight of these two lines and changed the purple one from yellow to purple. So that way it's a little bit easier to see. Now in the last video that we did on this, uh, we used this indicator as a zero line cross. And so we have this red line right here that's running through uh, the middle of the screen there right at the zero line. And we were looking for the lines to cross either above or below that line to then go long or short. And I said that we would try this indicator in a another way. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn off the zero line. And now what we are going to do is we are going to look for the cross of these two lines. And so uh, we are looking for when we get a cross of the uh, purple line to the upside, then we are going to go long. When we get a cross of the purple line to the downside, then we are going to go short and so that's the setup that we are looking for uh, let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this
All right, so we get the first signal right here on this one. We get that green line that pops up above the purple line. And you can see that price action pushes down really nicely there, getting us to take profit. Let's go ahead and continue on. So the sig second signal that we pick up is a long signal. We pick it up right here as we get the cross just barely for a moment. If we look at the coordinates over here, then you can see that the purple um, crosses up above that green for just one candle right there. And so unfortunately, on the very next candle right here we get the cross of the green back over the purple which would have stopped us out on this one right here this third one has yet to play out yet so what i'm going to do here is go ahead and fast forward the testing uh, so that way things don't get too long and we'll pick this up when we're at the end of the year All right, so that's going to put us at the end right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in excelling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, and trading philosophy in general. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested. That comes in an Excel version and a PDF version. And you will get that full list of indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. And you'll get access to an Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested that shows exactly which strategies were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates and links to go back and review those individual strategies. And so there is a lot of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here. So this one did significantly better on the number of trades within one year um, than the last one not sure about the accuracy it's not looking too great but let's go ahead and count them out and see what we have so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we have 34 trades all together. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 winning trades. And so that is not going to meet the 60% criteria that we were looking for. Um, yeah, I thought this one might work out a little bit better. Uh, again, it did so in the number of trades, but not so much on the win rate. And so for that reason, this one is going to continue to stay on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here. 